So Rachel, you're a sex and relationship coach. Let's talk about communication and sex. Oh, communication is so important. And something that I feel really passionate about because I think the most happy, successful relationships are those relationships where people talk to each other. And for me personally, I feel a bit like communication has a bit of a kind of boring like communication. You might have the feeling of, oh God, is this going to be a long, drawn out, we've got a problem, we need to fix it. I change the word communication and I call it real talk, right? And I think it's really empowering when a couple have this sexy, real talk thing that they've got going on. And in a way, we're all kind of competitive in relationships. We don't want to be known as the couple that just constantly bitch and nag and moan about each other. You want to be that sexy couple that has got that connection. So try to change that thought pattern of communication being something sort of like there's a problem that needs to be solved. And see it as a really, really positive thing. Now, another great bit of advice is discuss your sex life regularly. And I mean really regularly. Like, me and my partner, literally, every time we have sex, we have a discussion about it after. It's kind of like commonplace. And it's so exciting because it means he knows exactly where he stands. He never has to guess. I can say to him, when you did that, that was awesome, that was amazing. Let's do a bit more of that. And another um, great tip as well is talk about your moods because... Um, a lot of people stop having sex or have really stagnant sex because they don't discuss what moods they're in. And whatever relationship you're in, it's quite hard to kind of match up your moods. One of you might be tired, one of you might be excited, one of you might be happy, one of you might be sad. So we're never really connected with our moods. And when you begin to discuss your moods and actually um, pair up your sex to that mood, then you start to break those boundaries and have more regular sex. You might both discuss and say, I'm really tired from work this week, really, really tired. Let's just have a couple of quickies throughout the week, um, maybe at the end of the month or when I've got this job out of the way, or at the end of the week, we're going to plan out a session and we're going to have like phones off, you know, no tech, we're just going to get the music, wine, whatever it is, and really discuss it because when you discuss what moods you're in and what techniques you like regularly, really regularly, um, it just makes sex so much better and so much more frequent.